Bloggy <laughs> flip. These are a dollar a piece. They're all stitched. I guess. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Let's see what I owe you. What do you wanna? What do you wanna? Uh, would you do 10 on it? Okay. Okay. And then these were a dollar. Right. So, there's not a thing on that one, but that's okay. I'll just remember I'll write it down on her page. <laughs> <laughs> so, there's one, one two, two, three, three four, four, five, six, six of them. Six. So, 16 bucks. Yep. That works. Okay. Do you want these hangers back? Yeah. You can have them. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you just don't want them. Oh, I, I can do something with them. Let's see. And thank done. you so much. Thank you. All right, have, have a wonderful a, day. Thank you, you too. Hi. Good morning, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, thanks. Anything in particular you're looking for? I just like to drive around and look. Hey, that's the best way to do it. See what I can find. Brand new in the box. Yeah, I think my daughter might like that. The Easy Bake Oven's a big one too if she's older. And that's almost brand new too. I'm sure she'll get one eventually. That's... Yeah. <laughs> that does work. I just put fresh bananas okay. in it. Okay. I think so. Let me see. Okay, there. It's fine. I was just asking before I calculated. One, two, three, four, fifty. It'd be one, two. How many are in here? One, two, three, <laughs> yeah, so four, five, six. It's like four fifty. Something like that. Six times. Would you do like twenty bucks for all this? Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Okay. Sorry, I had. Oh, to, I fine. was like twenty dollars. <laughs> I completely forgot you grabbed the calculator. Yeah. yeah. Awesome, there you go. Have a good one, sir. Thanks, you too. Good luck. You too. Yeah, it sure is. For 
exercise for like two or three right here together. Yeah. And there's some on the back road back there. And is there? Yep. Mm -hmm. okay. You have a good day. <laughs> How much you have on that? Uh, about probably twenty bucks. Twenty. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. What about the train set? We have on that. Uh, about twenty dollars. Twenty. Use one time. Okay. It's all complete and everything now. Everything's everything is in there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. And what about the jersey? Yeah, two dollars. Two. I'm gonna look at this one more time. Yeah. Sorry yeah. if it scares you. It's really cool. It really messes with people. <laughs> and it's got all the Disney characters. On yeah, it. well, it's pretty neat. All the evil ones. Yeah. Yes. Do that voice of her. If I bought that and the train, would you do 15 a piece? Yeah. Okay. Sure. So are you 32? Yep. Yes. 20, 32. Perfect. Thank awesome. you so much. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Is this stuff for sale too? Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm just actually, oh, I'm just going, just trying to go through it. Right. Yeah. It's all in there. My mom's, my mom's stuff and it's, again, it's time to do that go thing. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> what about the Nike watch? Um, a couple bucks. Sure. Yeah. All right. Great. Thank Thanks you. so much. Now I'll leave you alone. Thank all you. Right. Bye. Thank you. Send all your friends. <laughs> 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 all right. You guys have a great day. Thank you. Thanks. Good morning. How are you guys today? Good. How are you? Good. Thanks. How much you have on your games over here? Oh, is there a sign? No. Dollar a piece? Uh, 3DS is like two dollars. Yeah. Okay, and then the other ones are one dollar? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Your ones are like around three dollars. So like, What's that? There's some little ones in here. Mm -hmm. okay. So they probably over there somewhere. Okay. Yeah, they're right there. Okay. Yeah.
All right, I got a pile of stuff here. Hold on. I can bring it out here so we can add it up. Let's... So the 3D were two, the regular DS were one, and the sealed ones were three, right? Yeah. So I'll put them in different piles. So there's the $3 pile, there's the $2 pile, and there's the $1 pile. That's $2. Plus 10. 79. 79. Yeah. Do you know if this model is uh, is uh, unused? Or the RC car, I mean? I haven't used it. It's just that smash. So okay. All right, so we're at 79. Yeah. 15. Plus another 15. Plus 10. So 119? Yes, sir. Yeah. Alrighty. 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. Don't, don't worry about the dollar. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm going to take some of the boxes out and I'll come back so I can bag okay, up yeah, the other stuff. This said five, I think. I swear I just saw it on that. Oh yeah, there it is, five. Then I don't see one on this. Austin, how much is the Lamborghini? Lamborghini, it's like, let's say three dollars. Three, so eight more dollars? Yep. Ah, right, go ahead and keep it. Thank you, guys. Okay, thank you. Was that mostly your stuff that I just bought? Okay, I think he undersold quite a bit of it. Okay. So, there you go, man. Have a good day. All right, guys, we made it back home. Starting to lose daylight here, so we got to make this kind of quick. Absolutely fantastic day of garage sales. Might have found possibly my best score ever as far as a single yard sale find goes. Haven't had a chance to comp out everything yet, but the stuff I have, um, I'm really excited about the stuff we found. Also, people have expressed concern in previous videos about how I need to get a bigger vehicle to uh, to uh, load up some of these hauls in. And I would like to show you that I did just pick up a new Jeep. Uh, the seats lay down, plenty of room to haul stuff away. So, so you won't see me having to cram everything into a little trunk anymore. So that's pretty exciting. All right, so real quick, let me show you some of the stuff we picked up to resell. So there was one sale where the music was really loud, so I doubt that's gonna make the cutting room floor, uh, but I did buy quite a bit of stuff there. I spent four bucks a piece on these My Twin dolls. I think those are probably worth about 30 to 50 bucks a piece. They're kind of creepy, but what are you gonna do? Also grabbed a uh, DoD acoustic guitar effects processor, paid 10 for that. Paid $5 for this Netgear, what is it? It's a Nighthawk AC1900. I normally get about 45 to 60 out of those used. And then I paid 10 for a sealed Echo Dot speaker, an extra one to have around the house. 10 bucks is a pretty good deal if you're gonna use it for your personal use. At another sale, got a TI-84 Plus calculator. Everyone knows what these can sell for. Uh, it was marked at 15. I bundled it with some dolls for Olive and it should sell pretty quickly for about 50 bucks or so. At one sale, picked up some more jerseys. I think there's six jerseys in here. I swear to you, I am not obsessed with buying jerseys, but these were a dollar a piece and they were all like the stitched uh, Nike and Reebok versions. So I thought they were too hard to pass up. Mostly Colts, I think five of them are Colts. And then one is the Peyton Manning uh, Denver Broncos jersey so I don't know what these things go for 20 bucks 25 bucks so I think it's a pretty solid deal also at that sale got this uh, new old stock pet safe in-ground fence the box has been opened but everything is still packed inside it paid ten dollars for it it was uh, make an offer I think I think these usually sell for about between 50 and 100 depending on the model even these collars right here can do pretty well on their own so at one sale kind of kind of grabbed a mother load there was just a lot of fun stuff there it looked like a teenager was selling off a lot of his stuff uh, I ended up going back and giving him a little extra money just because I think his prices were pretty good nothing necessarily crazy in here but I figure if a if a kid's gonna give up his weekend to sit at a garage sale and sell stuff there's there's probably a reason that he's uh, trying to make some money. So just try to help him out a little bit that way. Anyway, most of this stuff is still sealed in the packages. Uh, there's a USS Missouri model. Those sell really well in my antique booth. There's a Nerf disc blaster gun. 
a couple new old stock air hog rc helicopters some of these can sell for like 50 bucks maybe 60 bucks on their own those are pretty cool there's a little lego set number 60033 i think that should do pretty well sealed in the package a little hot wheels train i think from 2011 a call of duty mega block set i think that should probably do pretty well another lego set this one is open box but it's one of the bigger ones i think all the things are sealed inside got a couple erector sets down here these are both sealed in the package multi-model kits these don't normally sell for huge money but i've done okay with them in the past so i'm thinking probably probably 35 bucks a set plus shipping is kind of what i'm hoping for and then we have some star wars lego stuff sealed in the package on this one another set this is a 75072 sealed in the package funko pop it was a dollar i don't think it's worth anything an ls model helicopter a little card game called quarantine king i thought this was kind of neat it's a uh, playstation inflatable gaming chair had it marked at a dollar I just thought that was too cool to pass up. A Barago Lamborghini model kit, still sealed in the package. A new old stock, new bright RC Hummer. I thought that was really cool. And then we got a big stack of Nintendo DS games. Uh, they ranged the price from one to three dollars, so I didn't cherry pick. There's some, there's some in here that'll just need lotted up, but there's some that should sell really well on their own. Like these two are sealed in the package: Spider-Man, Edge of Time, and Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D. I'll put comps up for both of these, but but I think these two should do really well. And then we have some more cool ones like Paper Mario Sticker Star, uh, Mario Kart 7, Yoshi Island DS, Luigi's Mansion. Dark Moon, Super Mario Brothers, Rayman 3D, there's some Sonic games, another Sonic game, Scooby-Doo, Monster Jam, there's some Transformer stuff in here, some Skylander stuff, the Lego Pirates of the Caribbean, Angry Birds, some more Transformers, Centipede, they all fell, Asphalt 3D, and some more Transformers. Okay, my absolute best find came from this cell right here, Loris Mickey Mouse Watch. It's one of the big face ones. Uh, very good condition. I've done really well with Loris Mickey Mouse watches before. I'll stick a new battery in it and hopefully get 30 or 40 bucks out of it. thought this Special K Harlem Globetrotters jersey was really neat for $2. Not really sure what this is worth, but I've never seen a Harlem Globetrotters jersey at a yard sale, so I just thought it was really cool. And then we have this Lionel G-Scale Polar Express train. He said it was complete and used once. Um, I think these do have some decent value if you sell them online, but they're a little bit tricky as far as shipping goes. So this could probably sell used online for like 50 to 75 bucks. I'll probably just put it in the antique booth and try to get like 30 or 35 out of it. I think I have 15 in it. And then what turned out to be my absolute best find, possibly my best single yard sale find of all time, is this right here. Um, I won't pretend that I knew what it was. If I did, I wouldn't have tried to bundle it with something else. I just saw Disney, I saw the villains, and I just thought it was cool. And I thought, you know, it's probably worth something. Turns out that this is a Disney Traditions Jim Shore Tower of Fright, is what it's called. Highly collectible, rarely comes up on the used market. Um, <laughs> it lights up, makes cool sounds. It's got a bunch of villains from different Disney movies. The last one of these that came up on eBay, I think last month, sold for $1,345. And then other recent eBay comps over the last three months, I've seen broken ones sell for as high as five, six hundred dollars. I saw one where the dragon, the uh, Maleficent dragon, was like busted up and like re glued completely, and it was like missing a few other things, and it still sold for over three hundred dollars. Looking on Worth Point, they have a pretty solid sales history over, over the last couple years of like eleven hundred, twelve hundred, a thousand, eight hundred, nine hundred. This is a pretty amazing piece, and I can't believe I found it at a garage sale. The one that sold for $13.45 had the box. I do not have the box, so that hurts a little bit. However, if you turn it around here, mine was autographed by Jim Shore, which I think has to help the value. Looking on Worth Point and looking on eBay, I don't see any of this model that was actually signed by Jim Shore. I've seen other things that were signed by Jim Shore and, and the signatures match up and everything. Uh, from the research I've done, a lot of the people that collect these Disney traditions consider this kind of the holy grail. And the fact that it was signed by Jim Shore, I, I'm pretty excited about the, the uh, potential value of this. No clue what I'll end up getting, but I'll tell you, it's gonna have to be a lot for me to go through the work of packing and shipping this because I'm gonna be a nervous wreck. It is fragile. All right guys, so that is all I got for you this time. As always, I wanna thank you so much for watching the video, but until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Love ya, bye. When they hear that cha-ching and they all look at me, I guess they'll know why I'm buying this crap.